All right, YouTube. I'm here with uh, um, two reviews, and uh, one of them is something uh, you've already seen that I have, which is of course the the Stag Sea Trumpet, which is the WS dash TR two five five. Um, not the S model on the end. Uh, not sure what's different about the S model. Uh, both claim to be lacquer. Usually when S is at, it, it, it's at the end of a number, it usually means it's in silver, but um, this one is, of course, brass lacquered. And I've been, had this horn for almost two months now, and I am, of course, uh, relatively happy. I think it's been about two months that I've had it. So, maybe it's a month and a half. But uh, just to talk about some things about it, um, the horn actually does play, it has a decent sound, um, I've also done something, uh, two things to help out with the sound. Uh, one of those was using, making sure I'm using a Bach 1C mouthpiece. That helps out a lot. And the other thing is, it's the other item I'm reviewing. And it's sort of a, a test thing for me to do. I don't normally get into gimmicky things. I, and not that it's necessarily gimmicky, but uh, let's see if I can get this closer to the camera. But this is the KGU mouthpiece stabilizer uh, made in the UK or Ukraine sorry um, and a lot of guys have a lot of good things to say about this thing especially Arturo Sandoval um, so I gave it a shot this is the standard model there are several other models I got it off Amazon by the way and it runs about $65 um, it does um, do some nice things to for your uh, playing and it's and it's kind of it's subtle it, from my point of view but it's something that you observe yourself more as a player than necessarily others hearing you uh, one of the things is um, it helps out with pitch center and that's because it does an effect called dampening or damping I'm sorry where you take where if Without something like this, let's say you had a horn, a mouthpiece, and a very lightweight horn and whatnot, which, by the way, this is a fairly lightweight horn, um, the, the accuracy needed to hit the right note is shaped something like this, which makes it a little bit harder to get the right note. But when you start to add more metal and, and, and heavying up the, uh, the instrument, it starts to become like this. So you're your area where you need to hit to get the right note or the right pitch center is uh, is actually widened. So what damping actually does is it actually removes some of the resonance from your sound. Now some people would say, well I don't want to lose any resonance, which was actually my thinking at first, um, but I've come to actually like the, the item, particularly with the 1C mouthpiece and with this horn. Um, when I use it with my B flat trumpet, it's kind of nice, um, but a lot of my B flat playing is usually centered around um, me being kind of a high chops trumpet player, and I didn't really like it a lot for that, so I have not been using it. So, um, without further ado, here, let me try to make it so that the name faces out here, so you can see everything. And I'm just going to play a little lyrical study here, and it's a pretty easy, actually the, probably the easiest lyrical study, and I'm not going to transpose it because it's technically intended to be for B-flat trumpet, I'm just going to pretend it's for C. Um, it's just so you can hear the sound. <laughs> so you can hear it um, with the item. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mouthpiece out. I'm going to remove the item. And it does screw on. It doesn't really scratch the mouthpiece. Um,
funny. I think I played it better without it on this occasion. Let me play something else um, to demonstrate um, the item. So I'm just going to play a little thing here from also Sprock Zarathustra. I don't have the um, the um, the excerpt of his notes. I'm just going to play it all the time. I'm just going to play it on the C trumpet. But. <laughs> just play a little bit of it so you can kind of hear and that's um, the promenade from pictures and exhibition or at an exhibition by Madej Mussorgsky for it is fortissimo but anyway um, that's that item I like it some people might think it's a gimmicky item um, I'm gonna continue to use it I might decide later on I don't want to use it but uh, and it, to continue on with the sort of the review of things I'm gonna go back more to the um, stag trumpet um, some of the things that are um, uh, an issue are sometimes you got to oil the pistons a lot. Although the last several days have been pretty good and I haven't had to do it. Um, maybe I'm starting to break in the pistons a little bit and that's why. But I noticed that right away is that especially the very first day that it got it out of the box um, after me doing some demonstrations and I might have actually oiled it a whole bunch before um, I did the the clip for the promenade on that particular video so the uh, 
So I had to do that. And I use the synthetic blue juice valve oil. I don't use the Alcast like m many people do. I do suggest using better valve oil anyway. Uh, that does help a lot with uh, the operation of pistons on, on brass instruments. The other issue, which is something that I can probably solve on my own, but as you know, most people know, student model instruments are actually made for um, children or, or youth. And so this area isn't made quite as open and large and with space right in here for your fingers because of the way they put this adjustable uh, ring for the slide. Whereas if it was welded to this, it'd be over a little bit and there would be some more finger space in here. Um, so that's something to remark, um, which if you're older and you're just getting a, a like a horn like this to have to play some C trumpet when you need to, um, that might be a minor issue. The other thing is, is that the screw stopper um, doesn't give you a lot of space to adjust for notes. So like if you loosen it, of course you don't want to shoot it out all the way. you can get more adjustment out of it. So obviously the thing to do is to attach something here to give you more uh, movement. So I would probably do some kind of a rubber band uh, contraption, which is what a lot of players do. Um, and other than that, um, I don't really have a complaint about the horn. I think the horn plays for what it is. It is just a student model horn. Um, so, student model horns are typically made with lower quality brass metals, um, lighter, um, minor things like that aren't up to par. But, you know, something new that a lot of instrument brands are doing in the last, I guess, 15 years, maybe 10, is uh, putting thumb saddles on the first valve tuning slide, uh, giving you an extra point to help tune which could also assist with the, uh, the lack of spacing that you can move that um, by adding that to say the D's, um, which is one and three. So um, that is a handy thing. Would I recommend this horn to, um, to a seasoned professional who's gonna be like auditioning for major orchestras? No, uh, you'd probably want to get like a Yamaha Zeno or a, or a Boxstrad or some other brand like a Stompy or something like that. Um, would I recommend this to somebody who is a band director and needs to have some C trumpets at the school for maybe for the two top trumpet players or three top trumpet players to play with a look with the school orchestra? Yeah, that might be good. Um, because they're not expensive. You buy them, just put them in the instrument lockup, and uh, pull them out when you need them and clean them up and make them playable. Um, so that would be an affordable purchase and a, and a logical purchase to have around. Uh, what would be another person that might need it? Maybe a professional or a amateur player who does some church gigs and sometimes they just throw a hymnal in front of you and you don't want to transpose. Use this. Um, maybe there's a local community orchestra, you know, not necessarily needed to have, you know, a $2,500 to $4,000 trumpet, you know, something that's just under $300 if it works and sounds decent. Yeah, I get away with using it. Um, something like that, you know, but I, like I said, if you're going to be playing in like trying to play in a New York Philharmonic, you probably don't want this, <laughs> but, um, anyway, this this is a, it's a decent horn for what it is and I do recommend it for somebody that just needs a trumpet to play C sometimes but you're not going to be making a living out of being in a top of the line orchestra I would recommend it if you're a college student and you're studying a trumpet that's your major and your private instructor tells you you need to go out and get a C horn don't get this go out and get a Bach or a Yamaha or whatever your 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 teacher recommends don't get this. I mean, they're probably going to like get mad at you. <laughs> it 
they're probably going to work it out so your scholarship is revoked. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't get a student model horn. Um, but this is, like, ideal for somebody like me that um, it's, you know, if I get to use it, it'll just be, like, little local things, and that'll be nice. And I get to practice excerpts and get better at, at playing on scene trumpet. And then if down the road in, say, a number of years, I want to uh, get a different horn, then I can do that. So, but for being uh, just a student model horn, I think it sounds pretty well in tune. Now, I didn't tune myself earlier. I sometimes play a hair flat these days, so I might be a hair flat. But um, anyway, it's just I like the horn, and uh, I like I said, it's I give it a thumbs up, and the. KGU mouthpiece stabilizer, I give that a thumbs up too. So that's two thumbs up on these items. Um, try them out. If uh, for for more things, uh, I got a lot more videos coming. So uh, stay stay and follow my channel. So that means you know you have to subscribe, you have to ring the notification bell. Um, please click like on the video, comment. If you got any questions or if you want to tell me how bad I was because I chipped a couple of notes in the video, uh, yes, I, that was terrible of me to do that. So, <laughs> good, please say that. Um, but anyway, that's it. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next video.